Good morning, grade 4. Here is our last lesson for this quarter in health. Let's talk about safety guidelines for other situations that may lead to injury. Let's talk about safety guidelines during special occasions like Christmas and especially New Year. First, do not use substandard Christmas lights. Those substandard Christmas lights may cause fire, injuries, burns, which may result to loss of or losing of lives and properties. Refrain from using firecrackers during New Year's celebration. Like what I said a while ago, it can cause fire, injuries, burns, which may result of losing your properties or damaging your properties, also lives. Every year before Christmas, the Department of Health or DOH is reminding everyone or the public to refrain from using firecrackers. Christmas and in welcoming the new year, most often children and teens are injured while using the fireworks. Despite the dangers of fireworks, few people understand the associated risk, devastating burns, broken arms and legs, other injuries, fires, and even death. We have things to remember. Children should not hold or lit fireworks. Do not hold or lit fireworks in your hand. Remember that for adults, always use fireworks outdoors. Using them indoors is highly dangerous. So if you really want to use fireworks in, during this holiday season, you have to remember those things. Parties, anniversaries, foundation day, reunions, and outings. We have things to avoid if you are going to attend this kind of celebrations. Avoid going out alone, especially at night. So, partying is fun for people of all ages, right? Like teenagers, even children in particular, they like to attend parties. This may include birthdays and reunions. So if you follow a few simple suggestions, it will help you stay safe while you are having fun. There are hazards that one may encounter during parties. This may include adults drinking in a party who are sometimes having uncontrolled behaviors, molestation or sexual assault, gate crashing and fighting. If you're going out with friends to party, safety suggestions including know where you are going and how you're getting there. You have to always inform your family. Avoid putting the balloons close to your face or body when you are attending those kinds kind of parties. Never light a fire near them. Obviously, there are accidents related to bur bursting balloons. Also, avoid overcrowded places if possible. There are accidents in crowded places too. Example, stampede. It is not safe for one to be at the middle of an overcrowded place. Avoid swimming alone. Always swim with Adults, even expert swimmers drown because of cramp, right? So if you really want to swim, maybe you can invite your friends, your family members, so that anything happens, they are aware. Wear safety vest when traveling by boat. Always include safety plans. This is very important when hosting parties or during gatherings. Be alert. 
Keep yourself informed of possible dangers in whatever you do in order to prevent harm to oneself and to others as well. Avoid the use of styrofoam at parties. The use of styrofoam in parties will clog the drainage and cause flooding and eventually destroy the environment. So if you are hosting a party, also you, can, you have to consider the environment as well. So that would be all for today. Thank you, Grade 4. I'll see you in our next meeting. Goodbye!